Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MapTube. From this video onwards, we are going to start a new series that is exam preparation with past year question papers. Okay, so I have a PDF version of your past paper questions and let's try to do a good revision with this question paper. But one very important thing, before you start this revision, I want you to be at least kind of like okay with all the topics. Anyway, we'll be starting with statistics and then the probability part and then distributions and finally testing. Okay, the first thing you have to understand is you have very limited time for your exam. So, doing a question paper analysis will be very um, good so that you can spend your time properly and prepare properly. So, look at this. Um, in this video, I want you to focus on question number one. Look at this. Question number one is normally a six mark question or maybe sometimes it's a five mark question. Now, in question number one, they will ask, any basic thing which you might have studied long back or maybe uh, a few things um, like what you call a few basic things that you learned long back sometimes it will be a theory question sometimes it will be a numerical but it will be related to mean median mode uh, box plot stem and leaf any such things and I wanted to focus on the second question and normally it will be related to base theorem or total probability or something very very simple from the past and now I wanted to focus on the last question that they normally ask it's normally for 8 marks and it will be a statistics related question and like I told you, it might be related to what you call box plots, mean, median, standard deviation. And you are allowed to use a calculator. Remember, uh, when you are in bachelor's level statistics, your main job is to interpret. So, you must use a calculator, especially when you do question number 15. Because if you look at the syllabus, you will understand that. They want you to understand how to use softwares like SPSS, etc, etc. So basically, as an engineering student, you're supposed to learn how to use uh, calculators to deal with such problems. Because when you're in the industry, the most important part is not calculation. It's about interpretation. Okay. Now, again, I'll show you another question paper. So, can you see? It's something related to, like what you call, mean median etc etc and they are asking some basic question which you might have learned long back and again the second problem is related to um, what you call something very basic from the tree diagram or conditional probability etc etc and again I wanted to focus on the last question see question number 15 normally it will be of weight marks they are asking mean uh, standard deviation consistency etc okay now let's go for the recent questions also so again you can see the five number summary that is a box plot so they are asking you box plot and look at the second question base theorem and now I want you to focus on the last question see as I told you normally they ask mean standard deviation standard error can be correlation anything okay and one more thing I want to show you, there will be, if you search the question paper, you will be able to see uh, questions related to if you search the question paper, you will be able to see questions related to correlation and regression also. Normally, it will be for 10 marks. So, uh, like I told you, question number 1 that will be normally normally it will be six marks and question number two that will be again for six marks and the last question question number eight uh, that will be for eight marks and correlation regression normally they will ask five plus five ten marks 
but the marks might vary a little bit so this should be your focus um, when you start your revision so this is approximately 24 marks and let me warn you once more in every question paper it won't be exactly like 6 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 there is no such rule okay I will show you one more question paper a recent one so you can see the first question is something from your past median and see they want the interpretation and then uh, the percentile type of problem and you can see uh, okay here you can see correlation regression and that's for 10 marks and the last question that is question number 15 it's like 8 mark question and they have asked mean standard deviation etc etc so once more when you start your revision um, like what you call the first thing I want you to focus is the statistics part that is uh, some basic concepts on mean median mode quartiles stem and leaf and all those stuff that is a five number summary box plot means five number stem, five number summary then and so that will be six marks and then base theorem conditional probability and uh, some basic definitions and that will be another six marks and then comes correlation and regression normally there will be 5 plus 5 2 questions 10 marks and they can ask simple correlation uh, partial correlation multiple correlation uh, the definitions of partial look they are asking just theory questions 5 marks and they might ask you uh, what you call regression simple regression multiple regression so basically all these uh, include 10 marks and then the last question literally can be from anywhere and normally it will be mean standard deviation consistency measurements uh, see uniformity means they want to ask whether the data is consistent or uh, consistent or not okay now the second thing I want you to notice is if you analyze the question papers uh, you will be able to see that normally question number three four five and six can you see these are related to distributions and you have to be very good with binomial negative binomial uh, poisson and hypergeometric in discrete and normal distribution gamma distribution and of course the generalized these are all special cases and the general distributions in both uh, continuous and discrete and that will be another uh, what you call 20 marks I hope you can see it over here um, can you see question number 3 they are asking binomial probability question number 4 they are asking a question related to hypergeometric or binomial something and look at this the gener general continuous distribution and one normal distribution problem and look at the R question that is a gamma distribution problem so that is another 20 marks so uh, you can look at a few question papers so that you can understand better okay you can look at question number three four five so look they're asking a definition related to binomial negative binomial and here hypergeometric and another question uh, what you call they're asking you to define normal distribution normal approximation to binomial what is normal distribution etc then general continuous and what you call normal distribution problem that is another 20 marks uh, let's go for other question papers also you can look at question number three four five six so look at this binomial um, and what you call binomial numerical and then normal distribution and then again I guess yeah normal distribution so 20 marks like that we we'll look at one more question paper you can check a lot of question papers later so uh, binomial and Poisson normal distribution etc so once more let me make it very clear the first thing you have to focus is statistics and statistics normally will be question number one and question number 15 and the first question will be normally 6 marks last question will be normally 8 marks and then the correlation regression question for 5 and 5 10 marks and uh, like then the second thing you should notice is 
the probability question simple probability question that will be question number two normally question number two and that is another six marks and the questions they ask will be base theorem and total probability conditional probability or any basic stuff that you learned in class 12 or class 10 okay and the second thing i wanted to notice is normally there will be four questions in distribution so you should be very good with the special distributions binomial negative binomial hypergeometric poisson and normal distribution and also gamma distribution and of course the generalized versions of this distribution that is continuous general and discrete general so there'll be four questions that is another 20 marks and the next thing i want to point out is um, are you able to see this question number seven and eight in this question paper these are related to uh, sampling distribution I'm, I'm going to tell you two th three things now one is sampling distributions and the next is central limit theorem and next is confidence interval of uh, what you call confidence interval for population mean and population proportion so normally there will be two questions related to these three things and this is a experiment that they keep on asking they will give you a small population and they will ask you to create uh, the sampling distribution for that population okay let's look at a few more question papers and confirm it so can you see see here they're asking pure definitions what is the parameter what is statistics what is sampling distribution standard or etc and this thing so that will be another uh, what you call five plus uh, five plus five but here i am seeing six plus six that's good news but uh, normally uh, like what you call in question papers i see those questions being five plus five and here it is four plus six anyway let's say it's approximately 10 marks okay now the last thing i want to tell you is um, what do you call testing of hypothesis testing of hypothesis normally comes for 20 marks and sometimes it will be for 15, uh, what you call 15 marks and there is no option but you should be good with all the testing procedures and i have kept videos in testing procedures you can check those videos anyway in the coming video we'll be discussing all these things okay so look at question number 11 it is testing of um, what you call single mean test and what I have noticed is most of the question papers have ANOVA or chi-square question. ANOVA test will be there or chi-square test will be there. And sometimes both will be there. Anyway, in this question paper, I am able to see that they have asked ANOVA. It's right in front of us. Okay. And they have asked single mean test again. And they have asked proportion testing. So look at this 20 marks but i think here the proportion is slightly different it's like five six six uh, yeah it came in an R question so they made it like five six six four anyway approximately we can count 20 marks so you can check your question papers so that's all in this video so once more let me tell you um, when you plan to do a good revision first thing is you should be very good with the actual topic if not please uh, watch the videos now the first thing I want you to revise is statistics that will be question number one and question number 15 and correlation and regression so that will be like six marks plus eight marks plus ten marks and then the second thing I want you to study is base theorem conditional probability total probability and the basic stuff in probability and that might give you another six marks and then there will be four questions in distribution and so you should be very good with binomial negative binomial poisson and hypergeometric from discrete part and normal distribution and gamma distribution and definition of chi squared this comes now and then for one mark and of course you should be very good with the generalized versions of discrete as well as continuous and then the next thing i noticed is uh, normally there are three things that you should be sure with the definitions related to sampling and then the sampling distribution of mean and then how to find the standard error 
and of course central limit theorem and confidence interval and normally there will be two questions and that means approximately 10 marks and the last thing I want to tell you is you should be very good in testing of hypothesis there are seven different tests that you have to study and you should be very good with all those seven tests and normally there will be questions related to ANOVA or chi squared and sometimes both of them will come okay that's all in this video uh, in the next video we will start working out problems related to uh, these question papers so i'll be back soon with another video so till then my friends 